Weird things have happened in Assassin's Creed Odyssey since the most recent update, like an interesting engraving that popped up that likely has something to do with future content. Yes, it's pretty interesting indeed. I also asked during my interview with the live content director Bruno about some other mysterious things that appeared recently in the game. Yes, including the hard mode mythical creature bosses. So let's talk about that in this video. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. As always, I want to give you a quick reminder that I'm running a giveaway for the Abstergo Elite Gear Pack releasing on March 19th. Just follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure that you are subscribed to the channel as well. The winner will be selected shortly after the pack is out. Many of you reached out with the very interesting sunburn resistance perk that suddenly showed up in the engraving window for weapons. We see a picture here shared by Suheini on Twitter. So what the heck is this all about? The official SS3 Twitter account replied to someone asking, saying, you gotta protect your Mystias from the fiery sun of Greece. A sun hat is recommended for maximum sun protection. Yes, kind of dodging the question here from Kuro Susaku. So we still don't have a clear answer. So I thought, let's ask Bruno about this as well. And he could not talk about it yet. So I asked if it will have a purpose and he said, we will see. And you will see later on in the video that he also has other answers for things that are maybe not happening. So I think that there is something more going on. That this has something to do with future content. So I don't think it has anything to do with the sun hat. They of course later added that you can now buy at selected blacksmiths. It's random so just try every blacksmith in the game. And in the end you will be lucky. Now if it had anything to do with the sun hat then Bruno would just have told me right. No this is something that is not out yet. So what I could think of is that you need to have protection from something. Like maybe when you enter a region with a heavy sun. Or a fiery sun as the SS Creed Twitter notes. So that you need to have this engraving on one item to be able to enter this area. Or, and I think that this is more likely, that you need this engraving to take out a specific enemy. There is namely a god of sun in the Greek mythology, Helios. And of course with the Atlantis DLC coming up that will be all about the mythical side of SS Creed Odyssey. Focusing on the Isu and likely with new mythical creatures or maybe even gods. Maybe this engraving is linked to that. Then at one point we have to fight Helios, but can only do that with a special weapon that has the sunburn resistance perk. It's also 99%, it's such a random number. Could of course be placeholder, but could also be something that makes an otherwise impossible fight suddenly possible. Maybe you can already try and fight Helios but have a hard time and then with this weapon and the perk it nerfs his sun abilities. But yeah let's take a step back just me speculating here right nothing is confirmed I just think that this kind of makes sense in my head I don't know why I'm of course curious to hear what you think in the comments down below as well. But yeah in Assassin's Creed Origins with the Curse of the Varos DLC that will be kind of similar to the Atlantis DLC in terms of mythical things we also fought pharaohs, so why not fight gods in the Atlantis DLC? It would also be weird if we had a game in ancient Greece where we could not fight one of the gods. While again in Origins we also had the trial of the gods, where we could battle these gods, sort of. While in Odyssey it has only been about the mythical creatures so far. What is also interesting is that Helios seems to be the god of the island of Rhodes, where it enjoys an important cult. And yes, Rhodes is not on the ancient Greece mob of Odyssey right now but pretty close to Pefka so maybe if the Atlantis story arc brings a map extension we can go to Rhodes and even see the big statue that was dedicated to the sun god. I'm of course curious to hear what you think in the comments down below about this theory but also like about this sunburn resistance perk in general. What purpose will it serve? Let me know in the comments down below. Wait a second, while making this video I noticed something very interesting. They namely changed the name of the sun hat with the most recent update. So it was first called sun hat. But now it's called Talia's overprotective hat and the description is also different. The hat is known to be so protective against the sun that its wearer is nearly immune to sunburn. That falls completely in line with the 99% sunburn resistance, don't you think? 
The engraving did show up for the weapons though. It is of course a headpiece. So maybe it has something to do with the sun hat after all. But still, where would we need that sun protection for? Again, totally share your theories in the comments down below. Another thing that kind of leaked the same way was the placeholder text for the hard mode mythical creatures that appeared in the loading screen. Talking about how we could defeat a hard mode version of each mythical creature to claim their legendary rewards and complete the abomination sets. So I asked Bruno, what is this about? What is the abomination set? When can we expect it? And the answer from Bruno is kind of scary in this regard. Starting out by saying that he cannot comment on this and that there is sometimes placeholder text that finds its way into the game without them wanting to. And that's obviously the case here. He continues that some of which may happen and may represent something that we are working on and some others are purely more exploratory. We try many many things but not everything gets to be playable in the end. So kind of making me think that this is maybe not something that will happen in the end, the hard mode mythical creatures. And he by the way noted that the same applies to the story mode that showed up in an image that Ubisoft shared in one of the blog posts. By accident, again, it was supposed to show the enemy scaling feature and it did, but it also has this story mode feature like with a toggle on and off. So again, they try different things and some things will happen and some won't, but when they are ready, they will be very happy to announce it. So I think this kind of confirms that the story mode was likely nothing more than an experiment. I don't think you should hold your breath for that because apart from that image, that is like all we got. Well with the hard mode mythical creatures, I don't know because there's way more to it that I will get to in a second. But then like starting with the whole some things will happen, some things won't happen answer when talking about the hard mode mythical creatures made me kind of doubt it. But still the reality is that many things point towards this feature being a real thing or maybe something they worked on for a really long time but then maybe decided to not add it into the game. Because apart from the text in the loading screen, we also have the so-called live event sites in the game right now that you can see in the legend of the map. And their location are in the exact spot of the two Cyclopses that we gotta kill post launch. So you would think that this is already like laying the groundwork for these hard mode mythical creature fights, right? And if they decided to not do it after all, why not remove these uh, live event sites from the game? The patch notes of 1.10 and 1.11 also added vast travel points to the mythical creatures. And yes, those are those blue icons that we see right now and again are still in the full game. The other part of this puzzle is the abomination set that you would get by defeating like the five mythical creatures on the hard mode. Likely one piece at a time, at least that is what I think would be the case. Well on PC right now files for this mythical creature set were already found, like they seem to be in the game already with the stats and all, you just cannot unlock them. All the pieces have the all damage perk and the set bonus that we actually already discussed a while back, the extra damage per and engaged enemy so per enemy that is like attacking you up to 75% so the set bonus hits the maximum when like five enemies are onto you and we actually already have a mastery level in the game right now based on this set bonus and the mastery levels are always like based on perks of weapons or set bonuses from different items so Ubisoft was either already like pretty far with implanting this feature but they decided against it for some reason or it's still coming only we should not like believe leave everything that makes its way into the game as a fact of something that is coming. I hope the first thing is real because being able to fight these mythical creatures again but them being a higher challenge would be really really awesome and a nice activity to test your build on as well. But again while I first thought okay these hardbound mythical creatures are set in stone they are coming but we just don't know when. Right now it seems like this is an activity that is not confirmed at all. We should just have our fingers crossed for this one. And by the way good to note is that the abomination set does not have a unique look like in the files on the PC right now. It just looks like a placeholder mercenary armor. Thanks to Daryl again for sharing the pictures here on Twitter. So yes, gotta be honest with you, these were not the answers that I hoped for. Even if Bruno like could not share anything about these upcoming features, a confirmation that the hard mode mythical creatures or this story mode was indeed something they were working on would already have been cool. But the reason is that he does not want to confirm things that are not 100% happening. Because if he promised things that would not come true, 
that would have been way worse. So all we can do is wait and kind of hope. There's more to this sunburn resistance though. Like, I want to shoot it to you like I already said. Let me hear your theories about this in the comments down below. For now, let's cool off at Sargon. Let's see if we can finally get the freaking Hades of Tenet. Of course, subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed Odyssey if you haven't already. Like the video to support the channel. And now let's try and get the freaking Hades of Tenet. Let's go. No, Sargon, you don't need any sunburn resistance, right? Ah, uh, no, you're not in the sun at all. Okay, 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 that's how it works. Let's open an Olympian gift. Still amazed by these items. Totally, of course, get them if you haven't already, especially this horse. Okay, let's go. Ooh. <gasps> We're getting so close. We're getting so close. This could have been him. This could have been him. Now we gotta wait some gifts. Now we gotta wait some gifts. I will of course open a new one at the end of every video. But this is very, very close. Because of course, yeah, it's the same uh, sort of shape. Wow, okay. I mean, at, at one point I already have all the things in the Helix store. And then he is the only thing that I can get. Um, I did not get the uh, sort of naval things they added with the shark pack. So that could be included as well. And of course we have the Absurbago pack coming really, really soon. Um, and uh, with that other scary lieutenant. You likely know what I'm talking about, the octopus guy. Anyway, subscribe for way more Odyssey content. I got a cool video on the Atlantis DLC coming up really, really soon. So keep an eye out for that. Like the video to support the channel. Check out my video on all the March content. And some Assassin's Creed 3 remastered info by clicking on the screen. And I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.